<laughs> so today is called the best start in life because we're trying to get our word out to the adults who can make a change to children's lives. Well, this is the opportunity for children to tell adults what they need in their early years. Would, would she have friends? Is anyone friends in there? Uh -huh. So far we've been tagging pictures of children as they grow up. We tag their needs with arrows and if we've got questions we put like sticky notes on it. The baby uh -huh. on it like taught how to like live your life right so like so, so like what do you mean by that then? Well, like, if you were taught to, like, act really bad, then you would grow up bad. If there's something that could go wrong at their age that we need to stop from happening, we'll, we'll put, like, a star down close to that picture. That so we would um, move in house or school. Mm -hmm. And at the minute, the little box is empty. And what you have to do is to think about the one thing, think about your own life and think about the life of other children in Scotland. And what we want you to do is to put a message in this box. On the inside, a message, important things for, the most important things for children. And on the outside, it's like messages to adults. Imagine you had all the adults in your life and you could tell them what you think their responsibilities are. This is to show up what children need when they're younger and I've got on my box like what your child needs, love, family, food, water, warmth and home. Um, drinks, games, friends and a mum and dad. Be with your family when you can, look after your child properly, listen to your child, keep your child healthy and don't split up. Inside my box I've got kids need you, the, um, the care for them. Children need love. Children need to be loved. Like if they're not loved they could feel like nobody really likes them. If you're being loved then your mum loves you, so she'll give you lots of cuddles if you really feel sad. But if you like have a friend who like loves you as a friend, they'll like they'll invite you to like come and play with them. Love isn't necessarily you have to buy something for somebody. You can buy something to make that person feel loved. But you know, love in some people's minds is just, you know, like a hug or a kiss occasionally. If your mum or dad sits and plays with your toy cars or something, you know, builds Lego with you, stuff like that. I'm going to tell the adults what our expectations are of them. Our expectations are of them. Ask us some questions and just listen to us and just have fun. Uh, my name's Susan Deacon and Cathy and Colin maybe told a wee bit about this. Um, I've been asked by Mike Russell, who's a member of the Scottish Parliament and who's the Cabinet Secretary for Education and Lifelong Learning, to think about how we can get better at giving more children in Scotland a better start in life. So I'm really, really pleased that you've taken time out today um, to talk about that and I'm really looking forward to hearing what it is that you've got to tell us. Hello and welcome to the Children's Parliament. The reason we're here today is to help you understand what we need and to help you in your work. We have to get post-it notes, we have to stick them on what we thought, they, why they should help children and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then um, we had decorated boxes um, to write, like, if an adult must do something to, to make sure that a child has always been cared for. And we've had to put a post-it note inside with a message on it. In each group there was two adults to show but in our group, since we had a few extra people, there was five kids and two adults. We were telling them what we did, and they were asking, how do you feel about this? And 
is this good? Can you tell me what, like, what if it's happened? Is this happened? Is this not happening? We're just like talk, talking about how, how like parents, grandparents, like take care of you. How they take care of you. We were giving our opinion, and they were listening to us. And at least you have a chance to answer and you get listened to. It felt good because we were all sharing it, ideas. And it was better than people just ignoring you. And how do you learn that? Adults need to trust children. Adults always think they're the boss when they're not. And they think that they can tell children what to do all the time, when, even when they're like playing. They've got to have their seat. But they don't always let you have your say. Adults just think they're the boss and children just listen to them. Adults need to have trust in children. For example, if it's really snowy and deep snow and your friends ask you to go sledging with, your, with, with them, but by yourself without an adult supervision and it's like far away, adults need to like have trust so they know that you can be sensible there. Children should have a good home and a, a family that they actually listen to them, not a family that they just ignore them. They should listen to you and listen to your ideas. Like we were talking in our groups, they were listening and they were taking shots and they were taking shots on their ideas and their answers for our questions.